Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 15, and today we're talking about the different modes that come inside the comb filter. And before we get into that, we kind of need to understand what a comb filter is and what it's doing and why does it sound the way it sounds. So in short, it's basically a delay, a very, very short delay. So if we took any signal and then delayed it by a very, very tiny, tiny amount, either maybe by one sample even very quickly, or maybe to the maximum about 15 milliseconds, and that's even kind of pushing it. What's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of phase cancel there's going to be other spots of the track where these two phases add together and make it a little bit louder. So depending on what we're doing, we're going to have a lot of peaks and a lot of notches, basically kind of looking like a notch filter throughout the entire signal, which kind of looks like a comb, hence the name comb filter. So with that being said, let's go over here and go to a new preset. Let's load in some noise because it always kind of sounds the best here. Let's disable our first oscillator and then let's bring in the comb filter over here. Okay, so by default, this comes in the mode called comb. Now we have a couple different ones to choose from and they're drastically different and they have really, really cool sound. So basically this first one here is just a stereo delay and it's gonna tune this filter to play the notes that you play. So as before, let's bring in some input here. Let's kind of make a quick little patch here to kind of go through these different modes here. So we have our noise here and let's send this into the comb filter by increasing our input here. Maybe something like that. And remember, we always have to increase our feedback. Something kind of like that. Let's bring it down our output. And let's bring up our dampening just a little bit. Okay, so that's a basic kind of idea of the comb filter sound. Okay. So basically this first mode here is basically a stereo delay like I was saying and it's tuned to the keys that you press. So as you ascend through the keys. And it's already nice that it does that for you. That's really cool. So moving on from here, that's kind of the most simplistic delay here or no, simplistic comb, which is really technically a delay. So next we have a split comb. So this one, the input that you're sending into the comb filter is gonna be summed to mono first. So if you have a stereo signal, it's gonna go right down to mono. And then it's basically going to be sent to the first two delays and then they cross feed each other, which is kind of a lot of technical stuff to really get in your brain, but really kind of focus on the sound of how different they sound. So the first one comb. And then split comb. And here's where the interesting spots come in. So below this, we have another panel here under the sound panel. We have tone and then flavor. So these will change. Sometimes they'll be used, sometimes they won't, depending on the different mode that, we, that we're that we using. So for this one, split comb, tone is gonna be the ratio between those delays. So take a listen how this changes. And keep in mind, these are all modulatable with these buttons down over here. So you can adjust these with different types of modulation, which is very, very, very cool. So moving on from here on flavor, this is gonna be the amount of the signal fed directly into the second delay. So take a listen to how, to how that sounds. And we also have some distortion as well. And to the right of that, we have this key scaling, which is gonna be at 100%, which is kind of similar to what we've talked about for our different oscillators and so on and so forth, as far as like the scaling of, if you want these to be perfect semitones, this is gonna be kind of something that you wanna reach for. If we had this down at zero. The higher notes that we ascend, it's gonna be lower in pitch. Very interesting concept there. So double click that back to default to 100 over there. So moving on from this split comb, we can go to split dual. Now this is basically the exact same thing as the first one split comb, but it does not sum the signal into mono. So it's not too different. So it's, those two are kind of easy to wrap our head around right there. And the left channel is gonna be the first delay and then the right channel is going to be the second delay just to kind of soak that in a little bit there. And you can always notice the little subtleties of all these different kind of modes here. And then the next one here, difference comb. This one's kind of interesting too, because it's, it's like the other two that we just talked about, except for the second delay, it's going to be an all pass filter. And then the flavor here is going to be the resonance of that or the feedback of that.
Moving on from here, this one's really interesting, dissonant. So this one is really, really cool if you're doing kind of like creepy effects or just something kind of dissonant, metallic-y kind of sounding here. And this one is a 4x4 feedback delay network, which sounds very just creepy, really weird. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean here. Yeah, so hopefully you get the idea for that one right there as well. So let's go back to a new preset since we kind of changed a lot of stuff here. Let's disable the oscillator, go back to a noise, and then go back to a comb filter. So the next one is kind of weird. This, this one is called cluster. And in the manual, they say they kept it for compatibility reasons, but it's actually a really, really weird thing to do to your signal. So let's turn this down because it can get a little weird. So let's increase our, our input here. Yeah, so have fun with that one. That one's very weird here. Let's turn this down a little bit more. Yeah, maybe you can make something really cool with that one as well. So moving on, this last one is called Blown. <laughs> I know, I know. This one is pretty funny because this uses a bandpass filter to accentuate harmonics, which is kind of like making wind instruments or flutes or kind of weird stuff like that. So by default, this is what it kind of, kind of sounds like. Let's turn up our volume here. Get some pink noise. Let's do a stereo here. And what's interesting too, this flavor here is gonna be kind of the tuning of it. So let's turn this down for this here. Now this one can get a little bit tricky here. And what's cool with the sound like this, if we increase our release for our envelope. Maybe a little bit of attack here. Add some vibrato here like we did before. Let's go to one second here and increase our rate here. A little bit of delay. And this distortion will kind of slightly accentuate some of these harmonics. And from there, we can always add some extra reverb here to kind of really make it in a, in a certain room here. What was it like this? But yeah, it's a very cool sound here, and there's some interesting patches here. So if we went to init preset here, and then we go to a couple of ones on the right here, I think it is, where is it here? 
Comb strings, this is it. So this is a really cool patch kind of utilizing this concept here. So take a listen to this one here. So this is just utilizing the comb filter. If we look over here on the routing here, we can see that he's using a noise going into two different comb filters, and then also in um, an oscillator module going down this third lane here. So this is kind of cool because we can kind of deconstruct it and kind of see the different processes that's going behind this patch here. The first comb filter is gonna be on the difference comb, and then the second one here is also difference. We have a little bit of prefill for the noise on both of them as well. The input looks like they're not using the input. So yeah, it's really interesting to see how these patches are made because it can sound really, really, really good. And a couple other ones I want to show you before we part ways here. So I think it is on this. Okay, so I did kind of different versions of a pan flute. And if you're looking here, it's actually quite simplistic. We're not even using the first oscillator, just a noise and a comb, difference comb here. Which you would kind of think that this would be through the blown, but it's actually not. So we have this one here as well. And I believe where is the other one? Kind of strings here, so... So something kind of like that. And I think there was one other one here somewhere as well. I don't know if it's on this. Okay, yeah, bright plucky strings. So this is another concept of using kind of this as more so as a plucky strings with not so much sustain there. Almost like that harp kind of thing. Yeah, so there's a lot of cool possibilities with this comb filter. It's one of the best comb filters I've actually heard in any synthesizer, really, because there's a lot of different options with the modes, with the pre-fill, the input, and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, keep in mind, this is really, really, it's kind of one of those things where it takes a little bit of time to really get the small little intricacies to get the patch kind of right, because it is kind of finicky in that certain sense. But uh, with that being said, you can make a lot of cool stuff, so definitely play around with it, spend some time with it, get to know one each other a little bit, you know, kind of that... Hi, I'm whatever your name is, and that's the comb filter. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.